Brian here from High Techniques. Um, just doing a little video here on Unicontrol software. Um, I suppose but I'd like to start with the simple stuff. Uh, as you see here on the plan view, we have a building site. We have a main road here to the left and the entrance. You can see the sluice valve, um, air valves, water main in along. The green line here then is our stormwater. Um, we can see we have a pumped, so we have a tank at the front of the house and pumped back to a raised bed percolation at the back. All the boundaries of the sites and that's basically it's a typical, typical drawing that you might see. Um, this is a small little housing development, nine houses, I think. Yep, nine houses. Um, but we can really show you all of the features that you'll need to see in Unicontrol. Um, I suppose I hear a lot of guys saying, you know what, I don't think um, machine control is for us because, you know, it's, we might have an issue here where we have to move this line or we might have to move this water main this way. Everything else might stay the same. We may have to move a manhole and kick a line because it's clashing with something else or levels may change. Not the case. Uni control With uni control, the full power is with the driver. He can basically, he can offset a manhole, he can create a fall between two points, he can, um, he can change grades, he can do everything from the machine um, at the fingertips. And not only that, but the actual points that he has logged, or lines that he has drawn, or surfaces that he's created, they are actually accessible through the Unicontrol cloud by the engineer in the office. So the as builds can actually be downloaded from Unicontrol cloud. So again, any point that the machine has logged, it will give you an RD easting in height. The driver or the operator will have names on those points. For, for example, if you were doing a storm line and you had storm manhole one between two, between two star manholes, so you'd have one and two and star manhole number two was moved um, to suit an existing service or something, that the operator could say, okay, manhole two revised position. he log his point. He can do an offset using the machine of from 500 mil to you name it. Just enter the value in, in, in the screen. The machine will give you an offset. You log your point. This is revised manhole two. You do a slope between the two points. It'll tell you the revised length of the line between the two manholes. It'll give you the grade, the grade that may have changed to, to, to suit. So it's totally, it's very, very functional. I suppose just to go through what you see here on the top of the page, you see um, outside design on height left and you have outside design on height right. That's because there are no levels set for this job yet. So basically we don't have a level or we don't have a 3D model to work to. Not a problem. Because we can actually create our own surfaces and our own levels. If we look at a floor level here, is 10.75. We can actually create a formation or a dig level there at if just for argument say give it two courses of blocks we can create a surface at 10.3 you know um but that's the kind of functionality we have so we basically anybody who is using this system they don't have to spend any extra money to get 3d drawings done as we really and truly we don't need surface files we can we can create our own surfaces we can even create our own simple roadways for example with you know with a camber either side of a central median um and 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 create the create the percentage grade that you, you want on the road um so there's just some of the features 
another thing we can do here is we can let's just say you had a curb line that may be in your way we have a function here whereby we can actually do a drawing function so we can draw circles one two three points one or two points we can draw a spline which is basically a curved line which for argument's sake if you want if you were moving a curb line um or a section of a curb line that you wanted to move it to widen a road or, or whatever you could actually set an offset from the existing drawing with the machine and draw in your new line <clears throat> again anything you draw log it will be used and it will come back up to the cloud so the the engineer in the office can then take his as built from it then we have uh, junctions or lines with with junctions um, where you may have uh, let's just say a drainage or you know pop-ups from main storm foul um, and then we have a staggered line there which will draw lines with acute angles basically and the very last one below is the point survey so that will just survey a point um, so I suppose the first top right hand side is our jobs menu, our project selection. So if we long press on it, it goes to project selection. And you just select the project that you want to work on. At the moment I'm working on tutorials. And if you tap on it then it's your jobs menu. So you can work without GPS which makes it a 2D system. The surface design file is the drawings that you wish to use. We have DXF and XML files here. DXF is your line work. XML is your surface or your 3D model. Um, then we can create surfaces. So we can create a flat surface, a surface from points, a foundation outline, and a surface from cross section. And we will visit these again in another video because they do take a bit of time. Um, then we have our slope function and basically our slope function will allow us to create a slope a fall between so we can work from one point and a percent whether it be plus towards the excavator plus or minus um, you can go up to, from two points so if you had two manholes with the invert levels on them you basically you set up your slope, you select the first manhole, the second manhole, and uh, you put in the invert levels at each, and it'll tell you what percentage the fall is. It'll tell you the distance and the amount of pipe used between the points. Then you can work with a fall to a point or a line, so from a level that you're sitting at. Basically, you could have a line out from you and you say, I need to marry this in, so that'll give you a grade between the two points. And then you can work with two points and a percent. So where you use your two man two manholes, you select the first manhole, the invert level, um, or dig level, um, would probably be better. And then you put in your percentage to the second point. When you select the second point, it'll ask you to put in your percentage, and it'll tell you then the dis the depth you're going to be at the next point, the distance between the points, and again the percentage grade. And all this information, again, is in the cloud for the engineer to actually take down from the comfort of the office without ever visiting site, really. Basically, your machine control <clears throat> is allowing you to function similar to a rover. And then you have a height to a point or line, which is, again, if you're working to a point or a line or you have a line and you want to work from a point or an upper line, um, you select that and it, it'll it'll basically give you the slope and the, the, the distance between the points and it'll it'll give you a level to work to 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 bring the point that you're working to to that point um so that's our jobs and they're they're the things that we can do um i suppose along the bottom line there you have the history so drawings that you would have opened up previous are maybe a slope that you have done maybe you could have a slope in there for main storm foul you mightn't have finished the job, you might have had to go away from it without having to go back in and set it up again. 
we select on history we select the job that we want to do i think we'll revisit this again later on after doing some more <clears throat> um and then our background so we set dxf normally as a background and um, because you use your <clears throat> your surface files would be normally in xml and if you change from one surface to another at least your 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 line mark would always stay in the background yeah, i think it's handy so that's our jobs when your next next button down is our offset button you can see it's <clears throat> denoted by a solid line with the bucket city on it and a broken line just underneath so what we can do here is we can set an offset offset type vertical or perpendicular um we can basically to set an offset you're working from a line or a point and you can put in your vertical offset there so we'll just say we have a level created at 12 meters or whatever and you say okay i need to i've i've my site is dug to formation i need to dig the footings our dig is going to be let's just say 0 0.35 meters done and done and then you're automatically after setting an offset you can see here on the top values again i know we're outside design on the left hand side you'll see the broken line with the solid line and we're saying that we need to be down from that 350 that's our dig on the right of that you'll see 12.48 and that is the level that the machine is sitting at at the moment so i can move that up and move that down um obviously as the machine rises and falls and ground that that value will change so with this we can do a side offset also so if we're doing a side offset we can basically type in let's just say you want to do 10 meters offset from a curb line um the you know or any line 10 meter offset and basically what you will see if we zoom in here you'd see the broken line that's moving with the excavator now let's just say i'm going to lock onto that point once i'm out to the end of that that's my 10 meters i can log a point here that's me after offsetting out 10 meters and my points are there so you could you could if you were doing if you wanted to do yeah if you wanted to offset a wall or something like that you could offset by a meter 10 meters you'll see the broken line you move out to the point you can log your new point then and um, so that's our side offset we also have a GPS offset. So if your consultant engineer um, height values, and it's only height values that I've ever seen, differ. So we'll say you could have a height value of 13.03, and he might have a height value of, ah, let's just say 13.13, which is 100 mils of a difference. So we can actually put in an offset here. Or we can put in the fixed point elevation. So we'll say he's 13.13. Done. Set GPS offset. So now we're after moving up from what our level was originally by 0.1 of a meter, which is 100 millimeters. And that would be in case that your like i say your consultant engineer's equipment might not be he might not be running on the same with the same provider for subscriptions i've seen little errors that way so that's a handy feature again the next button down then is our bucket reference point so we can bucket reference right bucket reference left bucket reference center and you'll see on the screen the blue dot moving between the points um oh yeah the second function of that of the offset button just above if you long press on that it'll zero the bucket so once you have a level set obviously um i have an offset and stuff in there now so if i say no offset done
Mm. Okay. Okay, so bucket right, bucket left, bucket center. And if we long press on this, it brings up our, our drawing menu or our helpline menu. Basically, is what it is. It's a helpline. So we can select if we want to draw a manhole, maybe you might be working with a, well, just say a 1500 manhole. And you're going to want to be, you know, give yourself 500 all around that 1500 manhole. You're going to be looking at two and a half meters. So we would create a circle there using that. And my points are over here, second up from the bottom. That's my first point. And then I move out and I'm away. I am away one point seven five one point eight be grand that'll give me just over you know five hundred mil all around log your second point and there you have a little manhole drawn for yourself that you know when you're digging out your line this is what I need to dig to and yeah we're gonna have loads of room around there and we're gonna have five hundred mil all around us to sit in our or manhole yeah so that's just one function of it um the next button down is our bucket selection so it's the fourth one down on the right hand side we tap on that and we'll if you had 10 buckets with the machine you'd see 10 different buckets come out in front of you with their own names so i can change that um and if i long press on this this brings me and I can, if I wanted to add in a new bucket or I bought a new bucket, I could just copy, name it. Once you have that done, then you tap on calibrate. And the calibration process is very simple. You basically, one is the measurement between the bottom of dipper pin and the tip of the tooth. Number two is the, is the width. And you can see them on the right hand side here, we've linked in width. And then number three, what you do is you get your spirit level and you plumb it from the center of the pin and the bucket or on the end of the dipper and the tip of the bucket tooth and you set zero and that calibrates the, the, the longest point or the longest length of your bucket. Um, so we're done there. The next point down is our point survey or our survey and if we Tap on it, we survey a point. If we long press on it, we can add a point and call it whatever we want. I have a few in here, point survey, manhole foul, manhole storm, connection foul, connection storm, air valve and helpline. And also here we have a surface log function, which if you turn on and you have a level set, when you're as you're digging it, the screen will actually change color to show you that, yeah, he's he's on the level all the way along here and again it'll be blue if it's high it'll be red if it's low and it'll be green when it's in the sweet spot and then the last point here then is our lock so we're as you'll see when the bucket hovers over something it, it changes color it changes to yellow so i can lock onto this side reference lock to point and if I unlock it it's automatic side reference so it will just connect to the nearest but if you long press on the lock it will delete the drawings that you have put in so that <clears throat> you know if you just put in a helpline for yourself at least you can delete it no harm no foul it won't be in the drawing won't upset anybody there'll be no one questioning as to what you did because it'll delete all records of it so that's the introduction. Thank you very much for watching.